The story that we have been following for nearly a year now. Police have arrested a man who they say was responsible for both the homicide of a Toledo man last October and the shooting at a Whitmer High School football game the next day, leaving three people injured and the community shaken. 22 year old Jaron Phillips was arrested in Houston, Texas earlier this week, charged with aggravated murder and aggravated assault. Michael Sandlin joins us live tonight from Whitmer High School. So Mike, what's going to happen to Phillips now and what does this arrest mean for the community? Well, Melissa, nine months ago, parents and students and other staff were running for their lives here at the stadium. Now this week, 22 year old Jaron Phillips is currently being extradited from Texas here to Toledo to face his alleged crimes. For people here in the Whitmer School community, it's the end of a very scary nightmare chapter of the school's history. It certainly has changed us, um, but I think that having him behind bars will certainly help us to begin to heal. Closure. That's the word Superintendent Katie Anstat uses to describe the arrest of Jerron Phillips, nine months after his violent actions left a Whitmer football game in chaos. <laughs> certainly did not escape without injury and without severe injury, but we're grateful that no one was killed. That night, police say Phillips fired 12 shots just outside the stadium, leaving three injured, including a student, not even 24 hours after fatally shooting Jonathan Coleman in a drive-by. TPD detectives say Phillips was a suspect almost from the start. His name's always been around, but once we were able to keep working and getting you know, more concrete evidence. That's, you know, that's when we uh, met with the prosecutor's office and they gave us the green light to go ahead and charge him. It was only then that the U.S. Marshals made the arrest in Texas. For Superintendent Anstat, receiving the news that Phillips was in custody was an electric moment. I think that it was a little surreal for a few minutes and I, I wasn't even sure who to call first. But Anstat says any excitement over the arrest will always be tempered by the damage Phillips has already caused. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a celebration because not only do we have a student whose life will never be the same, but there are also people who lost their lives at, you know, at the hand of this person. And so it's hard to celebrate that. And police say the investigation is far from over. There was two more people at least that we think were involved. So if anybody from the community, that football game or wherever, can assist us, we'll take the information and still follow up. Lieutenant Gherkin says while well, Phillips is still in Texas for the time being, he will have his extradition hearing later this week. And Dr. Anstat says that she reached out to the student victim following the arrest, but she didn't pick up the phone. Dr. Anstat says she hopes she's having fun this summer, far removed from the violence of last fall. Reporting in West Toledo, Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11. Mike, thanks. Toledo police also announced a second arrest in the killing of Jonathan Coleman. Late this afternoon, TPD confirmed it worked with U.S. Marshals to arrest this man, 31-year-old Andre Jackson. Jackson is charged with aggravated murder, and police tell us he will face several more charges when he's indicted. As Mike just reported, authorities also arrested Jerron Phillips. He was picked up in Texas and is also charged with Coleman's murder.